Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here to talk about a potentially delicate subject. So I'm going to try to um, handle it as uh, tactfully as I can. Um, and I don't mean to offend anybody. So if, if you're offended, I that was not meant in any way, shape or form to happen. But we are going to talk about the Cleveland Indians announcement that they will no longer be known as the Indians or branded as the Indians at some point. So as you are possibly aware, the Indians have come out and said that they are going to rebrand and they are going to be known as something different at some time in the future. There is no time schedule for this to happen. Um, unlike with the Washington uh, Redskins rebranding themselves for right now as the Washington football team, they, uh, the Indians are going to be known as the Cleveland Indians until they are ready to rebrand as some other name, whatever they choose. So my thoughts on the subject are that I think that this is a little bit of an overcorrection in this case and in some of the cases of, of things that are happening across the country. Um, things that are being renamed, um, teams being renamed. Now, I will say, I will go on record as saying I, I kind of agree with the Redskins renaming because the Redskins, a Redskin is a derogatory term for an indigenous person on this continent, which we know or refer to commonly as Indian. So, um, but the Indians have decided that they are going to change their name now. And, and as I say, the distinction I, I, I put here is I don't see Indians as being a derogatory moniker. Supposedly, this is what I heard when I was in school. Don't know if it's true or not, that um, Christopher Columbus, when he discovered America, he thought he was in India. So he referred to the people that were here as Indians. So, and there are several different tribes and, you know, all that sort of thing. So, but we have a tendency to lump them all into one general moniker of Indians. And as I say, I don't see that as really being a derogatory term. So, um, a derogatory or racist term. I, I just don't see it. Like I said, in some cases, I do agree with some things that, that are being done and some things that are being renamed. For instance, the Redskins team being renamed. But um, with the Indians, I think it's just a bridge too far. The Indians have, the team name Cleveland Indians has been around since the article I read said, said 1915, but I thought it was even before that. I mean, the American League originated in 1901. But, um, so who knows? Maybe the Indians, maybe the Cleveland team in the uh, American League, in the original American League, was something else at the time. So, uh, this name has been around for a long time. It's just a sports name. And then... You know, another question you would have to ask is, what's the next step? Because there are high school teams named Indians. You've got the Atlanta Braves. Do Indians, um, do Indian people um, not like the name Braves? I don't know. 
and the Indians have said that the 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 biggest driver to this is that to this um, eventual name change is that they have heard from from various tribes and various indigenous peoples um, that they uh, that they are offended by the name and supposedly people of Indian descent or indigenous people have for years and years and years been trying to get the Indians to change their name. So, um, I'm, uh, you know, from that aspect, I guess I can see it. The Indians don't want to offend anyone. The organization itself doesn't want to offend anyone. So, um, I, you know, I'm kind of on a, uh, I'm kind of on a, like a fence here, except I'm sort of leaning towards this is a, a knee-jerk reaction that's a little too much. Um, it's a team name. It's a sport team name. It's been around for a long, long, long time. And now all of a sudden it has to change because there are some people that are offended by it. You know, I don't know. Um, and like I said, what's the next step? Because you've got high school teams, you've got college teams that are named Indians, that are named Braves, that are named um, Warriors. Ready? Bring me everyone. What do you mean everyone? Everyone! Um, so I don't know where it stops if the Indians change their name, particularly even if the Braves change their name. Um, so I don't know. I, I would really love to hear what everybody out there thinks. I think it's a little too much in this case. I, I don't see a reason why the Cleveland Indians should have to change their name. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments. Um, it's, it's like I said, it's a delicate subject. I don't want to, uh, you know, offend anyone who's watching. That's not the intent. In fact, I consider myself on a lot of things to be a middle of the road guy. They can see both sides of the issue as I can in this case. But I still think I'm more on the side of don't change the name. It's just a little too much. So. Let me know what you think. I would be interested to uh, read the comments and see what everybody thinks. Um, as always, if you just happen to stumble, stumble across this video, uh, check out my other videos and subscribe to the channel. And let me know if there's something you want to see me sports related talk about, and I'll talk about it. Um, subscribing doesn't cost you anything, um, and it helps me out share the video with other people on other platforms you can hit that share like arrow and it'll it should take you to uh, you know options to share it on facebook and twitter and you know wherever else um and if certainly leaving a comment that helps too so that having been said that is going to be it for me right now sportsman z bob zolke i've said my piece and i'm sticking to it